Welcome back to Educator.com. This is lesson using other accounts, assets, and liabilities, as well as equities. The first thing that we're going to talk about today is working with asset accounts. And we're going to learn how to set up an other asset account. Other asset accounts that we have is we might have short-term and long-term assets. That a short-term asset is something that we know is likely we'll be able to convert uh, later to cash or uh, something within a year. So we might only hold on to that asset for a year. And then a long-term asset would be something that we're holding on to for more than a year. For instance, we might have prepaid rent could be a short-term asset. So we've prepaid six months in advance our rent. So that's going to be converted or we're, it's going to be a, 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 no longer uh, an asset in, within six months. So that would be an example of a short-term asset. Um, and a long-term asset would be, for instance, maybe we have a truck or a vehicle or a, a computer or something that has a, a life that's beyond 12 months. A fixed assets also could be certain things, for instance, uh, hardware equipment or um, furniture, things of that nature, large, large pieces of uh, items that are with our business. So a fixed asset can be also tracked, and we're going to go through that as well. So working with the asset accounts, we're going to learn how to set up an asset account. The first thing we're going to do is from our home screen in QuickBooks, if you have that open now, we're going to go ahead and get into our home screen. And here we have, uh, the again, our little flow chart on how to get around in our QuickBooks. And the first thing we want to do is we want to find our chart of accounts. So to get to our chart of accounts from the home screen, it's located over here to the uh, the upper right portion of the home screen window or of course we can go from lists choose chart of accounts here we're going to have our uh, listing of all of our chart of accounts all of our accounts are here listed and the first thing we want to do is we want to look at the other accounts these are other current assets that we have for instance we have undeposited funds accounts receivable inventory assets so those are our um, other accounts Okay, the other thing that we want to do from the chart of accounts is we want to add one. So in order to add a new account, from the account list menu, at the bottom left, we're going to click on account drop down menu, and we're going to choose new. From here, we have a listing of types of accounts that we can create, income, expense, fixed assets, banks, loans, credit cards, equity, or other account types. This is what we're going to be working with. When we click on other account types, it brings us a listing of the many and various account types that we have. The one that we're going to go ahead and uh, add today is the other current asset. So we click on that and the next thing we'll do is click on continue. It'll bring us into the new account or add a new account window. From here we have assigned numbers on on my particular QuickBooks, I'm using assigned numbers to accounts. So with this, I want to make sure that I have a number that's associated in sequence with my other assets accounts, my other current asset accounts, if I see them here. You might not have your account uh, numbers activated, so you could simply just put in the account name. But for me, I'm going to add an other account number and I'm going to add it as 14000 since I have the 12, 12 uh, 100s, 12 800s, 13s, and so forth. So I'm going to choose a 14,000 number. And what I'm going to type in here is we're going to add prepaid rent as an other current asset. Prepaid rent, again, once I said earlier, we might have six months prepaid rent in advance. So we're going to put that up so that we don't expense it right away. It's not an expense until we've actually used that rent. So we'll say prepaid rent in the account name field and under the uh, opening balance, click under enter opening balance here. Here we're going to put in uh, $6,000 is what we prepaid it and that was as of 12 14 2015 so we have the opening up balance of what we've
put in as rent, as prepaid, and that was as of 12-14-2015 in this scenario. We'll go ahead and click OK. From here, we have our account name, the account number. We can always add a description here that this is prepaid rent, but it's kind of redundant at this point. And we can click on Save and Close. QuickBooks will now display our new account that we added under the other current asset listing for our chart of accounts. As each month goes by, we can certainly now expense a portion of that rent. For instance, if this is six months in advance rent that we've paid, every month we can now go into that register and record that as a rent expense. So we can go ahead and do that now. In order to, for instance, now January's come by and we want to record the first month's rent that we've utilized, we'll go ahead and double click on our account prepaid rent and it'll pull up the register. With this register, we now can expense on 115 2016 rent expense. Here we can say it's a thousand dollars as decreasing the, the value of our prepaid rent and we can assign that to rent expense which is a 63900, that is a rent expense category that we're choosing here. And we can say, you know, this is for uh, January or, you know, December to January 15 rent. So there we can go ahead and decrease that and we'll go ahead and click on record. And it'll show that we've expensed for that month in January, the previous month's rent. Now we've used it. That's kind of how we would use any account that is a prepaid type of uh, uh, an item. So we can go ahead and record it every month and re recognize the expense in the proper month. So when we do our financials, we know that we have rent of $1,000 each month, not $6,000 in one month. We want to expense it out and bring it out to uh, the appropriate period of, of accounting period. I'll go ahead and close that. This... Uh, prepaid rent account down. Now that we've discussed that,